Hey, what's up, guys? Nico and I got some Black Ops 2 gameplay here. Pretty good game, actually. Like, it showed teamwork. It didn't show individual skill. I mean, yeah, it kind of did. I pretty much single-handedly won this game. I got the ball rolling. I had the I had the most defense and captures on the hard point. And there's actually me and Matt rolling in this game. It was Underground Life and Underground OG. Yeah, we got new names. We started uh, Underground now and not Evo. So if you guys want a fanboy, it's Underground. I don't know how you'd put that in your clan tag, but I'm sure you guys will figure it out. So this gameplay is pretty much us two versus an entire clan and four other randoms. Now, these randoms weren't the worst. And look at that nice little triple kill with that uh, diamond camo. It's actually really nice on the PDW, and that's something I'm aiming to get. But I pick up the uh, orbital right there, and this is where I start to pretty much go beast mode or go ham. Um, this is a smart rushing game. I pretty much played the objective and played it to my best extent. I picked up smart lines of sight, and I know this isn't the best line of sight because they can still see me, but it's harder to, like, they can't see all of my head, so it's pretty good. Um, and if the hard point's ever back here, even in Black Ops 1, this was a great spot to hold down, and that thing hasn't changed yet. So use that to your advantage. Um, what else would I like? Oh, so this clan wasn't your ordinary clan either. Their clan tag was I try, and they all had matching names. Uh, one of them was a 10 prestige, the other was a 6, and blah, blah, blah. So I get to swarm on them, all right? And look, I'm the only one on the objective right now. I'm capping, and we are raping this team. It's 150 to, four, to 30, 39. Um, uh, yeah, so I do get some nice games, uh, nice parts of the game here. I can make a montage out of later. And that's what I'm thinking of doing, but not anytime soon. But look at this. Oh, it's not here. Hold on. This is why I don't really like the swarm that much, and it's coming up next. And most of you guys probably anticipate what's going to happen. But I don't really like the swarm that much. I like running load star like I did in my other game. And here it goes now? No. Yeah, right now. Here. Going to kill, going to kill, and wh what? My own swarm kills me. They need to fix that because that's not fair. That just stops rushing. Because if I wasn't rushing and if I wasn't trying to get kills and play the objective, then that wouldn't have happened. But from here on out, I don't do that well. But we still do win. And the main point of this video is to show you that you don't always need a party to run to beat clans like this. Um, you don't need to embarrass like you don't even have to embarrass them like we did this game. I mean, I single-handedly did it myself with the PDW. This gun is actually really good, and I'm working on getting all the di or all the submachine guns diamond. That should be fun. And here's what I mean by smart rushing there. Instead of going in that front door, what I should have done, which is what I think I'm going to do now, is going through the garage and then make a right. And uh, there's a guy laying down there and the guy to my left. But I didn't notice and I forgot. So I go back and get him. But, yeah, like I said, this part's not that great. Um, questions, if I'm going to prestige or not, probably not. Um, I might just one more time for double XP because it's just really easy to level up. But... I'm not really sure because I like having Ghost and, well, maybe next Prestige I could bring down Ghost, but I'm not sure. Prestiging just isn't as fun as it used to be. It's too much work now. And, yeah, so towards the end of this game, Theater Mode cuts off um, at, like, 2.30 or something. But we did end up making the clan rage quit. At the end of the game, only two of them were left. Or at the end of this video, only two of them were left, and they ended up just rage quitting after it. And look at that. Matt had a load star. Like, how did that happen? I'm telling you, as soon as I got that orbital, that's when the ball started to roll. Like, we just started to rape this team and dominate them. But, um, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much the gameplay. I don't have really anything else to talk about, so it's just time to ramble on. So, let's catch up. I'm in high school now. It's great. Everything's fun. and I have my varsity jacket, and, yeah, so high school is great. There's nothing, There's none of my thoughts and fears actually came true. There's, honestly, there's, like, nothing... Like, high school on TV is completely different the way it is on, uh, in real life. And imagine that. But, yeah, a lot of you, if you guys are going into high school next year or you guys are in, like, don't perceive what the TV, like, tells you. Because it's not, that just sounded real. And look at this. Look at how I got out of this. I don't know. But like I'm saying, those randoms are pretty good. But don't let, um, high school, just, it's not that big of a deal. It's fun. Just make the make the most out of your four years. Do something so that way you get to know the kids. Like, just don't be that one kid that doesn't do anything of sports or just have fun time in high school. Like, yeah, grades are important. Don't get me wrong. Grades are important. Pulls A's and B's. Those aren't really hard to get. But here's where theater mode craps out. But I got to go.
Hope you enjoyed. So bye.